So, in conclusion of this uh, 2013 DEPCONF, we present the Orga team for the closure ceremony. So I have a, um, a piece of good news and a piece of bad news for you. Which one do you want to hear first? Bad news. Bad news. Louder. 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 Is this better? So my question uh, was, I have a piece of good and a piece of bad news, and the representative answer from Patty was bad ones first. Is that, is that okay? Yeah. Unfortunately, the conference is over. Oh. Do you want the good news? We have DevCon Portland on the horizon, and we have two really good bids, or will be really good bids for DevCon 15, so within the next year, we'll see each other again. As always, it is very important that we thank our sponsors because you may or may not believe this, but without them, you wouldn't be here. So I'm going to go through them, and I would like to um, ask you to applaud only between the levels. So I'll just put my hands up when you get to applaud, right? Matanel Fondation and Google are our platinum sponsors. We have also had great support from the Canton de Neuchâtel, where we are currently. This is the gold sponsor. And then the silver sponsors at Finisci Group, HP, Ubuntu, 9.ch, and Switch, Apache Cloud Stack, and the Zen Project. And then the bronze sponsors, this is going to be fun in some points because A, I don't have my glasses on, and B, um, some of these are not necessarily translatable to words. CNR Informatique Libre, NG Communications, RHX Vivere Internet, the Brander Group, Camp to Camp, at uh, Tux, apparently. <laughs> Please go and look on the, huh? Linux User Group Switzerland, Linux User Group Switzerland Logilab, Xerox, Infomaniac Networks, NTS, NIMAC Networks, Zuma, Eucalyptus, LinuxGoal.ch, Solar Flare, ARM, Plat Home, the IT Support Group, Electrical Engineering of the ETH, Zurich, Leap, CH Open, the University of Zurich, Univention, and E2P Informatique. And the supporters that are there, I would like to slightly reorder because it was uh, my mistake that one of the, the two last ones, Project Neptune and uh, Libara, only turned up there a couple of days ago, not before the conference. So I'd like to mention them first, but also the Master for Rapid Application Development and EM Puzzle ITC Cyberlink. I don't know what that one is. Section. Ah, section Romande, so uh, of the uh, um, of this area of Switzerland, an informatic group that uh, supported us. Horus Network, Sarl, and the Neptune and Libra I've already mentioned. And thank you also to our media partners, Linux Magazine and Ubuntu User Magazine. <laughs> I know that uh, whenever we talk about DevConf, somebody puts up their hand and says, uh, it was my idea. And uh, I don't want to get into any of that, but the first time that I heard of the idea of having DevConf in Switzerland was at the first meeting that the Debian Association Switzerland had. And at that meeting, uh, three people were sitting around a table, and one of them was Adrian von Bitter. Unfortunately, Adrian, as you all know, died a couple of years ago. And I am sure he would have been very, very proud and an integral part of this conference would he still be alive. I would please ask you to join me in a moment of silence in remembrance of Adrian. Thank you. And Adrian was unfortunately not the only person that left us in 20 years of Debian. 
But as it goes with everything in life, we are now at this conference and we see that we are rejuvenating. First of all, we have a fountain over there that has rejuvenating water, but also you see younger people every day and more and more children. So the circle of life of DEPCONF is ongoing and I am very, very grateful that this original idea of DEPCON Switzerland, which for many, many years had nothing going about it, was at some point in time picked up by a very, very motivated and um, very good, strong local team that with the support of the DEPCON global team managed to put up this awesome conference that we have enjoyed until today. And it is now time for me to please ask the core local team to come up here, who will then take over and thank all of you, because you're all part of this conference. I would please like to ask to the stage, Gauden, Steinlin, Didi Rabu, <laughs> Raphael. <laughs> Raphael Walter, Giacomo Catenazzi, and Philip Hoop. <laughs> it's okay. <laughs> it's, it's okay. We all love you. Oh, um, yeah, mistakes happen. <laughs> we had all the help from the local and global DEPCON team. The talks team, please join us here. Diago. You can't avoid it. Everyone that ever got one of these t-shirts <laughs> will have to come here now. Talks team. The talks team, please join us. Gunnar. <laughs> Nobody wants to be in the talks team. So video team, please join us. And the network team and the front desk team. And those that organize day trip. And the bar. And the ones that found all our sponsors. And Paito. <laughs> and we would also like to thank the Le Can kitchen and staff. Where are they? They should be here somewhere. The Le Can, the kitchen. Le Can kitchen and staff. <laughs> okay, the chief of the kitchen wants to say something to you, at least to those that understand either German or French. <laughs> Alors, on commence avec le français. Durant cet hiver, l'automne et l'hiver, le camp de Beaumarcu, l'équipe de cuisine, plus le bureau, plus tout le monde, on organise des soirées. Le 27 septembre, on fait une soirée chasse d'ici et d'ailleurs. Et puis après, au mois d'octobre, on descend au sud, dans la région de Marseille, avec Marcel Pagnol. Et le 6, 13, 20 et 27 septembre, on organise une, cuisine, une cour de cuisine pour monsieur seulement, pour qu'ils puissent préparer les repas de fin d'année pour madame et la famille. Mm-hmm. <laughs> 
le 5 janvier, on fait le brunch des rois. Hein, les, et puis après, le 24 janvier, on fait l'astronomie, gastronomie avec le club de l'astronomie du nord baudois On fait ici sur place un peu des étoiles et puis un peu quelque chose à l'assiette qui correspond. Et après le 23, 24, 22, 23 février, on fait la dégustation de la nouvelle carte. On vous présente la nouvelle carte qu'on fait ici pour des mariages, pour des banquets, des séminaires d'entreprise. Tout ça, on fait là, au camp de vos marqueux. Alors, maintenant, l'allemand. Ça, qui est des problèmes au Deutsch. Ich habe nur eine Band, ich habe nichts anderes. Durch den Winter, durch den September, für wir an, für den 27. September, für wir an mit einem Jagdmenü von hier, vielleicht noch ein bisschen von anderen Orten. Am 25. Oktober gehen wir nach Marseille mit Marcel Pagnol. Das war einer, der Mann, der Filme gemacht hat und Bücher geschrieben hat, der um die Region von Marseille gegangen ist. Und nachher im November, vier Mittwoche zu Abend, wir fangen am 6. an und hören am 27. auf, machen wir eine Küche. Einen Abend, einen Kochkurs, nur für Männer, dass sie ein schönes Weihnachtsessen machen für die Familie. Es geht um das Kochen, es wird um die Temperaturen, die wir kochen. Und dazu zu wir dann auch noch einen richtigen schönen Tisch parat machen. Ja. Und nachher, im Dezember haben wir reserviert für andere Sachen, zum Beispiel eben für äh, Geschäftsessen oder Seminare oder so Sachen. Und dann gehen wir wieder im Januar. Am 5. ist der Heil Drei Heil Drei Königstag. Machen wir dann den Brunch. Am 24. Januar gibt es Astronomie, also ein bisschen Sterne und ein bisschen etwas in die Dauer. Und nachher am 22. und 23. Februar machen wir wieder unsere neue Karte, die wir alle Jahr machen, vorstellen. Bei uns machen wir eine Hochzeit. Wir machen noch Seminar, wir machen noch Geschäftsessen, alles zusammen. Und ihr könnt euch herzlich eingeladen, für die ganzen Themen bei uns vorbeizukommen. In der Rotonde Unger habe ich solche Sachen aufgelegt. Ihr könnt euch bedienen. Und wenn jemand interessiert, gerne geben wir Auskunft. Merci vielmals. Okay, thank you. Merci vielmals. Merci beaucoup. Just a very short summary. Um, he presented what they're doing during winter. You can, or if you're from the region, you can come here and enjoy some of their soirees. <laughs> and um, I would also like to thank the dishwashing equipe we had during breakfast and lunch, and those employees that cleaned up our uh, toilets and bathrooms and everything during the week. <laughs> Well, I don't know if you are going to come from Japan to uh, come to all these events, but anyway, uh, as director of this camp, uh, I wanted to thank you for coming to Vomarcu. It was a great pleasure to welcome you all. We made progress through your coming too. We had to uh, install new technology here to the camp. I hope you were <laughs> more or less satisfied. <laughs> and uh, well, uh, during two years, we have been preparing this uh, big conference. We had difficult talks sometimes, but I was sure because we, the staff who was here, uh, the, uh, the people who I had to, the opportunity to work with were of real big quality. And uh, thank you uh, for coming to Vomarcu. I must say, uh, well, come back. I will have perhaps retired, but uh, anyway, uh, <laughs> you are always welcome to the camp and thank you for coming. So, I hope till now everyone that has such a t-shirt and is still here is actually here, but we have a few more. Before you go to the... 
I would like to thank them. Uh, I have. I want to thank someone. Okay. <laughs> I would like to thank Gizmo, Luca Capello, who was here yesterday and who was a vital part of our organization from the start. And I would like to thank Dacia, who was a vital part of the talks and video team. And Gunnar and Ganev and everyone else that worked remotely on the DevConf team. One thing to add um, to someone who wants to stay anonymous, it's correctly marked in our books, but some person decided to get donate 5% of the money made by the work done with free software back to Debian, and that person enabled the, these bar prices. So yay, thank you very much. And of course, we want to thank all of you who made this conference so nice. Thank you. <laughs> Not you. <laughs> and of course, the trout fillet cabal. <laughs> So, we have some fun facts. We used eight kilogram of powdered sugar just to do the icing, only the icing on top of the birthday cake. You all drank 2,600 beers, 975 coffees, 186 rivella, and eh, it's a pity for the international corporations, but only 29 sprites. <laughs> 320, including those that went, came here yesterday for the birthday party, people arrived in total. We had 513 unique MAC addresses seen on the DebConf network, not including the DebConf 13 network. So, and we had 123 sessions, talks, buffs, whatever, for a total of 104 hours of work. To prepare this conference, <laughs> 2,759 uh, mails in 384 threads were sent since the end of DebConf 12. <laughs> One hundred and thirty six gigabit of video traffic went through at least the GPL host servers. There were other video relays that are not included into this statistics. And one DebConf team member, you will guess who, <laughs> ran during the conference one hundred and sixty eight kilometer and six eighty six, yes, and six. Uh, uh, seven kilometers of elevation in 21 hours and 22 minutes. <laughs> in a year, by the time we will all be at DebCon 13, Debian will be allowed to drink beer. <laughs> there. <laughs> so, now, the more serious part, we have some information for you. Please read the mail if you did not do so yet. We sent to DebConf announce. If you need a bus ticket for departure tomorrow with a bus to Yverdon, please buy a ticket at the bar tonight. The problem is that they only sell the tickets on the bus and the bus, it will take the bus driver to approximately a quarter of an hour to sell 50 tickets. <laughs> and then you will miss your train in Yverdon. <laughs> we 
we also moved our printer down to front desk so that you can use it if you want to print a train ticket or a boarding pass or whatever. Um, <coughs> for everyone, and we still need help that uh, wants to help with teardown, we meet at 8 p.m. outside beside the fountain to see what tasks are, can be done tomorrow and which group will do what. And after that meeting, we will offer those that help an apero. If you don't know what an apero is, come and see <laughs> and help. <laughs> um, if you stay here until after 11 a.m. tomorrow, you risk to be just grabbed for tear down tasks. So if you don't want to help, you have to leave. <laughs> <laughs> and right after this closing ceremony is finished, it, there are some more slides to come. Um, <laughs> we would like to remove all the table, uh, all the chairs here and in the buff rooms and in the hack labs and in the second talk room. Um, we say, we split into four, five parts, like those in the back there, they stay here and put all the chairs here together. Those in the back on this side, you go to the second talk room and put the chairs there together. Those in front here, you go to the <laughs> hack lab down there and those here, you go to the buff room down here. And those, out, we enjoy the world. We have done the whole conference. <laughs> we, we go outside and enjoy the view. <laughs> um, and those outside, um, you go to the Zwingli Hack Labs and put the chairs and the tables together there. Thank you for helping. Um, yeah. And there's one thing we, that's not on the slide, but traveling can be annoying uh, or boring at times. Um, there was just sent a mail to DebConf announce to invite you to write some text reports that we can include into the final report during your travel back home. And now I give the word to Christian for the Assassin's game. Is that okay? <laughs> yeah, that was completely unprepared. I completely forgot to prepare anything about the Assassin's game, so I will just here uh, nominate uh, the survivors first, yeah. so I forgot to take the list, so I hope some survivors are still here, so please stand up if you've survived in the Assassin's game. Yes, yes. <laughs> Serena. I think we're missing Rhonda. Oh, and actually, the winner of this, the Assassin's Game is the person who killed the most persons, and there were some bonus points too, so the winner of the game is actually Rhonda. Rhonda actually survived thanks to a very, very tiny piece of cheese during the volleyball game, otherwise I would have killed her. Six kills for Rhonda. And the second person uh, is uh, Andy Bart. Yes. Five kills. He has been... Stand up. <laughs> but, but actually he was killed. He was killed later on by who killed Andy? Rhonda. Rhonda, haha. <laughs> <laughs>
And a few other people uh, completed with three kills, but I'm so sorry, I forgot to check the numbers. I will publish the numbers, of course. So thank you, Assassins, for this game, and I hope we'll have even more next year. Um, I, I, think, I think we can also have a round of applause for, uh, for Christian for the Chosen One party. Um, the network team reminded me that although we are going to remove all the tables and chairs, please don't tear down the network stuff in the hack labs and everything. Yeah, neither video. Yeah. Au revoir. Auf Wiedersehen. Arrivederci. Stabein. Goodbye. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, you can have it, but yeah, wait for it. <laughs> See you. What? I have no idea how I'm going to explain this to immigration. <laughs> I think I'll just let him do the talking. <laughs> already. The mic was taken away from me a long time ago. <laughs> and, and, uh, and also, although many people did a lot of stuff, I think we can also thank and have another round of applause for the bar team that did an awesome job uh, very late at night and uh, that will be open tonight. Thank you, Benedict. See you in Portland. We will keep Portland weird. <laughs> and it will be fine.